geniuses of this beautiful sport that is Muay Thai. I think I read somewhere as well that Sanchai this year has had 11 fights already. That is a lot of fights to have an easy fighting basically nearly every month. There's a bright kick that's seen them already to the arm of Sanchai. It's just no feeling out process with this one, Liam. I think they will go for it. Straight away, that right kick of thing now it's slamming it in straight away not sure what weights this fight's like uh, Sanchai looking very short very mus muscular don't like he's bleached down too much to struggle to make a weight looking very strong and keeping that right hand next to his head sing down because of the very dangerous high kick of Sanchai as well in the the green and yellow sing down no showboating so far, Liam, which I find interesting already. So he, he does highly respect yeah. the Moonine fighter. Without that, uh, these two know each other inside out, I think. I think they both know. I think Sanchai knows how good and how strong Singdam is. I think they know he won't be able to get away with too much. One mistake at this level, even someone of Sanchai's calibre, one mistake against someone like Singdam, then you're going to be made to pay for it. Just makes him miss by centimetres of the high knee. And Singdam is trying to establish his range and his distance. Well, all right, kick. That'll, be, that'll be hurting against the arms, whether it's in the arms or the ribs, he's dice, that one's going to really take a toll of Sanchai keeps letting him blast that one in. Just see a nice right hand from Singdam down the, down the middle, but some really good defensive skills from Sanchai. He's obviously done his homework, hasn't he, since the last fight and to block these very well. Yeah, nice take down there as well. Still playing the kicking game at the minute. We're not seeing too many hands, so we're going to see that as the, the three rounds pan out. People going for the, the knockout bonus. Not really a clincher, is he? Uh, Singdam either. So it should it could be a kicking war. This he's having a good look. Really, Santa, not much as he normally does in the first round of these three round fights but and again it's what Singdam are allowing to do Liam yeah he's um, he's got to get past that right kick first I mean San uh, Singdam's got the, the range and the height so one, there again he's knocking knocking Sanchai back with that right kick every time it lands there's some big power behind it yeah he really looks up for this doesn't he Singdam yeah look very focused, very sharp. Nice, very yeah. nice. Sneak that in very well. And again, back down to the leg. Got good fakes, hasn't he, uh, Sanchai, the, as the, well? The fakes, are, they're unbelievable. The subtle stuff that even the crowd won't be able to really see. When you stood in front of him and he's doing that stuff, it's very off-putting. And one, one, you see one slight gap in your defence and you've been kicked. Well, there you go. Then the man who knows what it's like to be kicked by Sanchai. I'm glad I didn't all be kicked by Liam. The Hitman Harrison, the three-time world champion, Liam, the first round, who would you give that to? It was very close. I mean, there wasn't too much clean that landed, um, but I think Singdan did come off with a few more kicks. He's, he's worked a bit harder, but he was close. 10 cents start to Singdan for me. Well, there you go. So, as we go into round two, ladies and gentlemen, Yokao bringing you what an absolute fantastic show here in Thailand. As the Muay Thai Combat Mania continues. And Yokao established itself as the premier Muay Thai show that everyone wants to watch. So if you're a big fan of Muay Thai, you'll be enjoying this. And if you're not a fan of Muay Thai, you will be after it. So I'm Vinny Shawman and we have Liam Harrison here. And this already, the intricacy of Muay Thai will be shown. And I'm sure now they'll start to, hot, they'll start to heat up and start to throw uh, some techniques with a bit more venom. Now they've thrown the gaps, Liam. Yeah, it might Amazing. be interesting now see the hands and the elbow starts to come into it a little bit more. That knockout bonus is there, don't forget. Like you say, going to heat up a bit this round. Well, round two then. Singdam, Kiatmu 9 in the yellow and green, and Sanchai in the red and white. So that, the long knee nicely bought by Sanchai, though. Great, great awareness. With the left hand oh, round the side as well, just stepping off to his right and causing Singdam some problems with that. But he's elected to stand right in front of him, hasn't he, Liam? Yeah, he's a nice left straight left really there. Really nice. The, 
pick, definitely picked up the pace this round yeah. now. Franchise awareness on that right kick. He's leaning back. He, like you said before, he makes it miss by just centimetres. It's a good knee, but by Singdam as well. Really blasting that right yeah. kick, and he's scoring well with that. Quite a quiet crowd here, because they're just really mesmerised by these two special fighter skills. Nice kick across the back there, good scoring from Ranchai. Beautiful block and a lean back and another lean back, unbelievable skills. Awareness is incredible, isn't it? Well, that knee as well from Singdam looks dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very dangerous. Very tall, got good range, got long legs as well, so it comes from out of nowhere. Steps in with the left knee. It's the subtle things that I understand, Liam, the way he steps around, just makes the technique miss. It, that, it, all it takes from me is one slight step, one step away, and it just makes that, that technique miss by that centimetres. Nice like, blocking skills as well from Sancho there. Poetry in motion here, ladies and gentlemen, as you're watching two of the very, very best. Indeed. He's up for this, isn't he? Both of the, He's up for this, though, isn't he, uh, Singdam? Definitely. Yeah, he's elected to find the back foot. Sancho's coming forward now. Nice block. Nice catch, down well. really nice. Both must acknowledge each other's skills, so the skill level here you're watching is absolutely the cream of the crop. Yeah, without doubt, a lot of the times these guys, they're so good, they're nullifying each other's techniques a lot of the time. That's right kick from Singham. Just going into the clinch there, they're both not really wanting to throw much here. Just sitting down and just monkey oh, climbing there. Monkey climbing an elbow. That one with a... For the fans, not really scoring, not com really causing too much damage, but I think I'm having a laugh at it there. As Beautiful well. again. It's just, and as and well as with his Sancha, he's moving to his own left. He's still moving into the power leg of, of Singdam, yet he's got the skill level to just cope with it. Superb to watch, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely unbelievable. Blocked one kick, missed the other miss, then kicked across the back. And again, beautiful, nice scoring. And I think those two back kicks there have just took that round for Sanjay. Well, there you go then. So, two rounds, sorry. The second round to Sanjay. That's two rounds down. And as I say, you know, it's interesting what you were saying before, because I remember in 2009 when I went, at 2004, I apologise, when I seen um, Singdam, uh, Katmun and, and, and Kongi Pop and, and various... And when I watched them, because I wasn't as educated as I am now, because people like you and people explain it to me, it was interesting because I thought it was quite boring because they nullify each other. But when you start seeing the intricacy, the skill, you start to appreciate that this is absolutely chess with bodies, isn't it? Yeah, without doubt. Like you said there, when they're nullifying each other's techniques like that, it's, it is just because they are both so good. They're both so smart. It's not just throwing arms and legs everywhere. It's just subtle stuff, the subtle footwork subtle little fakes, the subtle slips, that's when they'll make a gap and that's when they'll exploit it. Sancho did it twice beautifully in that round, made the kick miss, big kick across the back, very high scoring technique, that's just took him the round. Well there you go, so a lot of happy smiling faces here in Thailand as we watch Yokao number five, an extremely exciting crowd, excited crowd and extremely excited commentator as well. Me, Vinny Shawman, and we're just getting a great education of the art of Muay Thai from Liam Harrison as we move into round three. Yep, still a very close fight. He's going to run more. And no one's going for the boxing or the elbows yet, really. I thought we would have seen that with a knockout bonus that hand. But obviously, the win's the most important thing. So they're both playing the points game. And there we go, three big kicks from above to start the round. Nice catch from Sanchai. So long, both of them have been around so long yet. Still in prime condition, it's incredible what they do. Still very sharp. Oh, there it is, the, for the first time, the cartwheel. He had to do that, didn't he? That's his trademark, <laughs> isn't it? He has to do that. He's taking this one serious, Sancho, which I'm pleased about. Because yeah. Singdam's not come to play, definitely, without doubt. No, he has been slamming them right kicks and left kick from Sancho. Nice there. Score. Really nice underneath, clever. Oh, beautiful. Just picking it up again a little bit more now in this last round, Sancho. Starting to just pull slightly away with the points. 
Oh, and again, kick for kick for kick. Beautiful. The cleaner, the cleaner work did come from Sanchai again, though. Little shuffle there by Sanchai, just trying to sing them off. I see sing them do a little bit more work, though, Liam. Yeah, definitely. I think he's, he's in the last round. I'm not sure whether he's conceding defeat or a little bit. Maybe he knows Sanchai just, just slightly ahead. It's what can happen to. It's what can happen sometimes. It can put people off. We'd, we'd like to see a fight and them to go for it, but you know, you know sometimes it's just uh, admitting that yeah, you, it's, it's your day. But still, it's hard for the crowd to get that. Yeah, especially with the, the knockout bonus at hand as well. I thought you might see well, you, going you, right would you? you trying to knock the chins off? I'd be doing that from round one with a knockout bonus. <laughs> <laughs> knockout bonus or not? That's what I'd be trying to do. like to see a little bit more going on but like I said you can't force them to fight it's just what they do it's unusual to see that in a three round fight though isn't it because normally the fifth round they do this yeah, yeah. I think uh, the buff the buff know that Sunshine might be slightly ahead here and um, they're just playing around a little bit the scoring techniques of Sanchai sneaking around Little intricate moves that he does, so subtle to do, and it's just it takes a blessing. I don't think they can be taught Liam, to be honest. I just it's something he can do. Yeah, it is. his awareness is absolutely unbelievable. I just seen there the way he were leaning back out, the way some of the those right kicks from Singdam, which were delivered with speed and accuracy, was absolutely unreal. Well, there you go, then. So we await the decision. But our expert resident Liam Harrison saying that it's two rounds to Sanchai. And and a maybe a drawn round or ten with a dot. Or sing them. No, ladies and gentlemen. We yeah, I think uh, sing them might, might have just nicked the first round, but Sancho picked it up and he did some nice kicks across the back. Uh, some nice off balancing techniques, takedowns. I think that might have just taken him the win here. And your appreciation, please.